Today I want to talk a little bit about mistakes and failure, especially in how we view them in the Autobahn Women's Soccer Program. One of my favorite discussions about mistakes was from a point made by Johan Cruyff years ago when he said, football is a game of mistakes. Whoever makes the fewest mistakes wins. And what he's saying is that we know things are going to fall apart during games and we're going to try to learn from those and try to refine those and make sure that we're not making as many mistakes, but it is part of the game. A few years ago, I got the opportunity to listen to Janet Rayfield speak. Janet Rayfield is the women's soccer coach at the University of Illinois. She also has experience with the women's national team. She shared in this conference that she often tells her players, I need you to make mistakes every day. Just don't make the same mistake twice. It's that same idea that we're going to make mistakes. In fact, I need you to make mistakes to make yourself better, to be uncomfortable a little bit in training, and I'll even say in games, to challenge yourself, to take risks. To have an idea of how this looks in the Otterbein Women's Soccer Program, there was an example a couple years ago that I think says a lot. Ella Shively had an opportunity against Ohio Northern where a shot was taken from a distance. She saw a chance to follow it up. She followed it up, the ball came to her, and unfortunately, because it was bouncing, she got under it just a little bit and hit it over the crossbar. And the immediate reaction to that from her teammates helped us, not only that day, but for days to follow. If you watch Priscilla Severance's reaction, she immediately just claps a couple times, says, hey, you're good, part of the game. Let's go, move on, we'll get the next one. When you watch Delaney Earl go past her, I don't think she actually says anything. She just goes by, gives her five, and moves on. And what that action says is, that's part of the game, no problem. A few days after that, we found ourselves in an OAC semifinal against Capital. Bella had an opportunity just at the start of the second half to make a split second decision to strike a half volley with her left foot from outside the top of the penalty box. This took a ton of confidence. If she was still dwelling on the moment from the previous week at Ohio Northern, she may not have taken this opportunity. It's important that her teammates give her the confidence to take a risk. And just three days after that, we found ourselves in the OAC final against Ohio Northern again, this time at home. Priscilla found herself in a very similar situation to Bella's from just about 10 days earlier. If she had reacted in a negative way to the opportunity at Ohio Northern, there would be a lot more pressure on her to make sure she doesn't miss in this moment. Goal. Scored by 25, the truth is, each situation for Bella and Priscilla was so similar. If either one of them had struck the ball in just a slightly different place, the whole situation could have been different. When Bella struck the ball, she used the inside of her foot, and because the ball was bouncing, she got under it, and it went up a little bit. If she had struck the ball even right here, it would have stayed under the crossbar. Don't know if it would have beaten the goalkeeper or not, but it would have stayed under the crossbar. Priscilla used a different technique. She used more of her instep. When she struck the ball, she struck it about right here, and that's what kept it under the crossbar. If she had struck the ball even right here, it would have gone over the crossbar. If you fast forward to 2019, Delaney Earl found herself in a situation where she was often found 1v1 against a Wilmington defender in the OAC quarterfinal. In some of these situations that she takes her on, she doesn't get past her. She earns a corner, which is great, but she doesn't get by her. If we looked at these situations as failing or as mistakes, then we're viewing it wrong. I need her to have confidence to understand that this is part of the game. And I really just need her to get through one time to create a great opportunity for us. And thank goodness she continued to have the confidence to take her on because in overtime she helped create the game winner. It's important that our players understand how we view effort and mistakes and failure. If the situation says shoot, I want you to shoot. Whatever happens after that can't be a mistake. If the situation says take a player on and you take that player on, you're successful, whether you get past her or not. Not only do our individual players need to know that, but the rest of the team needs to know that and support players in that way. I need everyone, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, to be confident and know that their team has their back. If you do what the situation tells you to do, you can't fail.